Hello, welcome to Learn English Live. My name is Sherry and I am an online English teacher and speech therapist. So I am looking forward to learning together with you today. So let's get started. Let's see who is all here. We have, I have to wait for my feed on my phone to see who's all here today. So let's look at the live chat. Grace is going to join after class. Yes, Dwee, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining. Hello, George. Hello, Jorge. Great to see you. George is ready to watch. And Anna, I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today we are going to play a game. We are going to play Jeopardy. Jeopardy is an extremely popular game show here in the United States. So this is going to be a way to improve our English by working on some vocabulary. And you're going to type your answers in the chat. So let's give a moment, see if we get other people to join. I'm going to write on our board so we know how much everything is worth. I'm going to do my best to keep track to see who is the winner. So we will start with rooms. The category will be rooms. And I will help you with the question and you will then answer. If you guys can let me know, can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me in the chat. I hope you can. Let me know in the chat if you're able to hear me okay. Let's see. I want to wait and see if you can hear me. George, can you hear me? Let me know. Grace, it's Grace here. Dwee, can you hear me? I'm not seeing anything in the chat. Are you guys there? Yes, good, okay, thank you so much. I'm glad you can hear me, thank you. So I'm looking forward to playing this game with you guys tonight. And so you are going to learn some new vocabulary. Shall we get started? Let's give it one more minute. Let's give it one more minute. I dropped my lid. I wish I could give you guys the hundreds of dollars that you will win in playing this game. Wow, we need, I should have called some more friends to join us today. We usually have more students than this. You guys are going to get my undivided attention. Okay, you'll get lots of practice in. So we'll give it one more minute. Let's see what happened today. Today was Tuesday. I had a pretty nice day. Um, I found out that I won an award. Um, I've been offered a couple of new jobs the last few days, so that's been pretty exciting. What is going on with you guys? How are your studies going? How are things going with studying English? Let me know in the chat how things are going today. Dwee, let me know, what are you studying? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we are ready for our game. It's 7.04, let's go ahead and get started. So, rooms is the category. Again, the category is rooms. Hello, Habiba. Thanks for joining. The category is rooms for $100. I am going to read out loud the question and you will type in the chat the answer. So rooms for 100. Taking a shower and brushing your teeth are both done in this room. Taking a shower and brushing your teeth are both done in this room. Type in the chat, what is the answer? Taking a shower and brushing your teeth are both done in this room. 
Ooh, George. Cozumel. I've been to Cozumel. I loved it. You, you did some snorkeling. You would say, I did some snorkeling and paddling for the first time. It was great but hard. Okay. Woohoo for George. George for $100. Habiba, great job. You both answered for $100. George is the winner. I'm going to keep a track. George for 100. High five, George and Habiba. Thank you. Anna, good job. High five. Om, nice to see you joining joining us. Hello, Om. Thanks for being here. Okay, you guys are correct. Pasha. Shh, please be quiet. My son is making himself salad. Hey, we're bringing some pizza for dinner. Your dad's bringing home pizza. Okay. We're having pizza for dinner. Have you guys had dinner? It is 7... 7.06 here, so it's close to dinner time. So good work, everyone. Let's move on. The answer, of course, is bathroom. Bathroom. All right, here we go. So what category shall we go to next? Type in the chat. Would you guys like to do sports, holiday, body, or family? What do you think should be the category? And I'm going to get a drink because I'm a little thirsty. I'm gonna go get mango. I have one, thank you. What do you guys think? Categories, sports, holiday, body, or family? Yes, pizza is yummy. Family, okay, Habiba, here we go. Family. For $100, let's listen. Okay, Anna, we'll do sports next. We will do holiday after that, okay? Here we go. Your mother's father is your what? 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 Anna, close, but Habiba is correct. Your mother's father is your grandpa or grandfather. So the father of your mother is your grandfather. Or grandpa yes so grandfather or grandpa Habiba you did it you get oh I'm trying to get my star out and it's stuck you get the gold star ding great job okay so $100 was what the prize was for Habiba $100 of course I'm not really giving you $100, but we can just pretend, right? So Habiba and George both have $100. Woo -woo. So your grandfather. All right, so the next one that we chose was sports. Anna was the um, next person to answer. So we'll go with sports for $100. I love sports. Hey, Samira, we are playing Jeopardy. So you just type in the comments the answer. So for $100, sports. A small green ball, a net, and two rackets are needed to play this sport. A small green ball, a net, and two rackets are needed to play this sport. <laughs> Habiba, yeah, I, I'm not giving you any money. I don't get paid for this. <laughs> I, I'm doing this for free. So um, you get you get my praise and you're, you're winning knowledge. You're winning knowledge. 
Anna says tennis. A small green ball, a net, and two rackets are needed to play this sport. Samira, it's great to see you back. I hope that your studies went well. Yay! We're getting some answers here. Anna is the winner. Yes! We have a woman who has won. The women are representing now. So we're going to put Anna as tennis. <laughs> yeah, right, Habiba? <laughs> I love it. Okay, Habiba, I have four children. I don't have money. <laughs> All right, so tennis is the answer. Great work, everyone. All right, guys, call your friends. Let them know that we are having fun playing trivia on YouTube together, right? Working on some English. So do you guys have a favorite sport? Let me know in the, in the comments. Type a full sentence. My favorite sport is, and let me know. So my favorite sport is the sport of volleyball. So I really like to play volleyball. Volleyball is played with a ball that's about this size. Um, indoors, the ball is usually white, but sometimes it can be other colors. Outdoors, it's called beach volleyball. And I actually used to play beach volleyball as well. Uh, in college, of course, I played indoors and it was a lot of fun. I love the sport. So the next category, let me know what sport you like using a sentence. And our next category will be Dwee's choice of holiday. But first, let's see if anyone has any sentences to type sharing what your favorite sport. Habiba, great sentence. Don't forget your period at the end of your sentence. My favorite sport is basketball. Fantastic. And Samira is using her British English spelling of favorite because I know you love British English. And don't forget your period as well. Habiba enjoys tennis. I do too. I've never had formal tennis lessons, but I do enjoy playing tennis. And it is fun to watch. I love watching the Australian Open. Um, for tennis, and I like watching Wimbledon, of course. All right, so our next category is Dwee's Choice, which is holiday, right? Holiday, so we'll go with holiday. Here we go. Santa and presents under the tree are customs of this holiday. Oh, come on, how easy. Santa and presents under the tree are customs of this holiday. So George's favorite is soccer, or as the rest of the world calls it, football. Oh, don't be sorry, Samira. There's nothing wrong with what you did. Just put your period. So what's the holiday? Handball. Ayala, nice to see you. Ayala, let me know where are you located? Yes, Habiba is correct. So $100 again to Habiba. Now you have $200. Great work. So let's add that. We've got $200 for Habiba. George also has answered Christmas. George, did you go to Cozumel and Cancun with anyone else? Share with us what your trip was like. It sounds fantastic. Yes, we Christmas. That's correct. Okay. So after holiday, let's see what our next choice was. Uh, sports family. So how about we go with body because that's the only one that we haven't done for $100. We are going to between your mouth and your eyes find this smelling device between your mouth and your eyes you can find this smelling device hmm what is it in jeopardy when you play this you have to answer in the form of a question which is what is a plank good for you george that's fantastic it's always great to go somewhere fun like that, 
with someone that you care about. Anna, yes. Anna, Dwee, Ayala, great work. High five. Boom, boom. Shakalaka. Great job, everybody. So here we go. I'm going to add $100 to Anna. So tied for first place, we have Habiba and Anna with George in second place. Habiba, great job. Yes. What is your nose? That is exactly, if you were on Jeopardy, that is exactly how you would answer the question. So here we go. All right, the next category, let's go back to rooms for 200. Cooking dinner and washing dishes are common in this room. Cooking dinner and washing dishes are common in this room. What room is this? And now we're up to $200. $200. Samira says kitchen. Mm -hmm. We have some other answers coming in. Great. Yes. Excellent. Well done, guys. Great work. So yes, the answer is kitchen. So we have the winner of that round for $200. What is a kitchen would be, you need to use your article there, Habiba. What is a kitchen or what is the kitchen? Um, let's see. It's wonder, wondering about the definite or indefinite article. Um, I think you would say, what is the kitchen? What is the kitchen? Yes. Okay. So let's look. Who was the first one? Samira. Samira's on the board with $100. Great job, Samira. Sports. For 200, sports for 200. No hands are allowed in this sport of two goals and a ball. No hands are allowed in this sport of two goals and a ball. What is it? Yes, for $200. <coughs> okay, Anna. Hmm. Anna, guess what? You were the first one to respond, but if we were going to respond with American English, we would say soccer or Habiba. What is a soccer? Great sentence. So I'm sorry, Anna, but the judges have ruled that George and his answer of soccer is correct. So George won the prize money of $200. So, and Samira, maybe did you win $200 too? I think I need to change that. I think you won 200 as well. Because you said rooms and that was 200. Okay. What is a soccer is correct. And so we have George with 300. Habiba and Anna are at what? 200 and Samira's at 200. Here we go. Holiday for 200. Holiday. There's a song by Madonna, and it's called Holiday, and it is kind of a fun song. Samira, yes, you said soccer too, but you were not the first. On this frightful night. I apologize. I'm going to play it again. Witches, monsters, and vampires are common sights on this frightful night. Witches, monsters, and vampires are common sights on this frightful night. What night is it? Um, so the answer is soccer because Jeopardy is an American game show in the United States. And as you know, we call football that 
football, we call it soccer. Witches, monsters, and vampires are common sites on this frightful. Yes, Samira, that is correct. But this game is Jeopardy and it's American English, which I said before you came to the live stream. And yes, technically they're both correct. Halloween is correct. And Halloween being a holiday would be capitalized. So Habiba is correct. Halloween. And you would not say, what is a Halloween? You would say, what is Halloween? A nightmare. Yeah. Um, witches, monsters, and vampires are often in nightmares. That is true. What is Halloween? So let's see here. George had the first answer. So George... Guys, you need to catch up to George here, okay? Halloween has become an increasingly more popular holiday in the United States. And some many countries don't celebrate it at all. Okay, body for $200. Here we go. Body. These 10 things are useful for pointing and picking up objects. These 10 things are useful for pointing and picking up objects. For $200. Anna. Anna is the first one with the answer. 10 things. These 10 things are useful for pointing and picking up objects. If there are 10 of them, we don't have 10 hands, but we do have 10 fingers. Fingers. Yes. Okay. So let's take a look at the lineup. We have Anna as the correct answer so now you're at 500 you are tied with george here we go and family for 200 dollars. okay before we move on if you guys have any questions go ahead and type those in the chat i will um, answer some questions quickly at the end of our game okay if you have any questions for me your father's sister is your what? Your father's sister is your what? Your father's sister is your what? For $200. Samira, yes. Okay. <clears throat> so the way we spell ant is A-U-N-T, but it is pronounced the same way as A-N-T in American English. Now, some dialects in American English will say aunt instead of ant. It depends on your regional dialect that you use. Some people will say aunt. Some people will say aunt. And then also what Dwee said, there are also people who will say auntie. But aunt is how I pronounce it, aunt or aunt. Samira is the winner of $200. So Samira is up to $400. Great job, Samira. Excellent. Okay. Ant. Now we'll move on to, f I'm sorry, rooms for $300. Wouldn't it be nice if you guys won this money, right? So for $300. Here we go. 
<clears throat> we'll do a brief pause. I just uploaded a new video on the simple present and simple past tense for the word to have. have. Um, there will be a part two that will talk about present perfect and past perfect. And so you can check that out, but it is on TikTok and I will load it on Instagram very soon. Check out the video. And also I've been working really diligently on a new video for my YouTube channel, Learn English with Sherry. It is another shadowing lesson. So it's, I've spent many hours working on this and I really hope to bring it to you guys tomorrow. Hey, Michelle, great to see you. Great to see you. So Michelle, we are playing Jeopardy, which is an American game show where there are categories and you answer trivia questions and you win the dollar amount on the board. So we are on rooms for 300. Bicycles and parked cars are normally found in this room. Bicycles. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I clicked. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. This is my fault. So I am going to have to throw out this answer. I am sorry. I clicked the wrong spot. Yes, George, you are correct. Jorge, I did it by mistake. My fault. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do I do when the game show host makes a mistake? <laughs> uh, do I? I don't know. What do I do? Do I have to like give some money back? I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, I am sorry. We'll move on to... Sports for 300. I'll try to do better, guys. Okay. All right. Height is an advantage in the sport of two hoops and an orange ball. Height is an advantage in this sport of two hoops and an orange ball. Hello, Bhakti. Great to see you. We are playing Jeopardy, which is an American game show that has trivia questions. So we're working on vocabulary. I used to play this sport in high, in high school, junior high, and in college. Height is an advantage in this sport of two hoops and an orange ball. Yes, Habiba is bringing in the answer first. You brought the answer, nice job. Yes, everybody's getting it. Well done. Ayala, it's basketball. Basketball. And Anna, your photo is looks beautiful on your profile. Samira, yours as well. George, you need to have a closer up shot. I can't really see your face. So yes, the answer is <gasps> Ishrak. Hello. Great to see you. Okay, so basketball is the answer. Bhakti and Ishra were, Ishrak were playing Jeopardy. So yes, um, I like the emoji. The emoji is awesome. We have Habiba and you just won $300. Three, four, five. So we have a two-way tie, George and Habiba. Okay, now let's move on to holiday for 300. Holiday for 300. Here we go. Holiday for 300. Men give women roses and chocolates on this romantic February holiday. Men give women roses and chocolates on this romantic February holiday. Michelle, how are you doing? Let me know how you're doing, Michelle. Men give women roses and chocolates on this romantic February holiday. <coughs> Guys, my husband brought home the pizza and it smells so delicious. It's like killing me to smell it. 
So, Ohm, it is not Christmas. George, you have the date correct, but we need to know the name of the holiday. And so the winner of this answer is Ishrak, Valentine's Day, and it's spelled V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E apostrophe S. It should be capitalized, but I'll give it to you because I'm the judge. Valentine's Day, and there should be an apostrophe. Um, they do not have an apostrophe here, so Ishrak. Yes, Michelle. Michelle is a channel supporter. Thank you for doing that, Michelle. Um, the channel supporters allow Robin and myself to do these live streams, free live lessons for you guys. So um, thank you so much. Check out learn english live also my youtube channel learn english with sherry and then shaw english is also an amazing channel there are hundreds and hundreds of lessons there okay so let's see what kind of pizza habiba there's pepperoni beef and my husband i think got a meat lovers pizza with cheese stuffed in the crust we really like meat here at this house. I know a lot of people don't like meat. Bhakti, you answered in a hurry. Okay, that's understandable. All right, guys, let's move on. But first, um, I want to award Ishrak. Ishrak's on the board with $300. Thanks for joining. And here we go. <coughs> Body for 300. Without, without these on either side of our heads, our days would be silent. Without these on either side of our heads, our days would be silent. I think my husband would like it if he couldn't hear me. There are some days that he wishes that he didn't hear my voice. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Yes, George and Anna. Mm-hmm. That is correct. Ohm, that is that was the correct answer. I think you're watching the stream in a different time. So ears. Great job, everyone. Well done. So we've got. <laughs> Bhakti is like bringing the emoji game seriously. <laughs> so we have, <coughs> sorry guys, I have asthma and it makes me sometimes cough when I speak a lot. Yes, Rendell, everyone knows, right? Everyone knows this answer. Is that what you mean? Rendell, let me know. Explain, please, what your comment means. So, yes, ears. And we have Habiba, was it Habiba? No, I'm sorry. George, George for 300. I'm running out of room to write down your money, George. Three, four, $800. And let's continue. Rindell, let me know a little bit more, okay? Family for 300. Here we go. Family for $300. Your brother's wife is your what? Your brother's wife is your what? Ah, your brother's wife is your what? Dwee likes cheese pizza. Rendell, oh, you meant that everyone guessed. Yes, everyone did guess. You are correct. Everyone knew. Your brother's wife is your what? Your brother's wife is your what? Pasha, will you bring me over um, the garlic knots, please? So I can share with you my dinner. Sister-in-law, my bro your brother's wife, yes, is your sister-in-law. There's nothing in here. Don't bring me an empty box. 
<laughs> okay, so we have sister-in-law. Yes. George is correct. So you get another $300. <coughs> Would you guys like to see part of our dinner? Make sure you guys leave me some pizza. They're going to eat all the pizza without me. We, do you want to see what's in the box? I can share it with you. We have sister-in-law, so George, 300. Excellent work. Sister-in-law is correct. Okay, now we're going to move on to the final round. Oh, you did? Um, Samira, on my end, George answered first. So he's the first one to comment. Samira, I know what you're saying. I've played trivia games where it looks on my phone that I've answered first, but they give it to someone else. And it's frustrating. I've lost money that way. Okay, so... Bhakti, you were the first? Mm, no, I don't see your answer either. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about let's talk about rooms. Rooms for four hundred. Rooms for four hundred. Detergent and fabric softener are often found in this room. Detergent and fabric softener are often found in this room. What room is it? Detergent and fabric softener are often found in this room for $400. Detergent and fabric softener are often found in this room. I do not see a correct answer yet. Mmm, we've stumped the panel here, guys. While we're waiting to see if we get some more answers. Ooh, so these are called garlic knots. They are bread that has garlic on it, and then you have sauce, um, marinara sauce to dump it in. And they're covered in, they're covered in like butter. Oh, they're so yummy. Mmm. Ah, Ishrak. Yeah. Ishrak got it. It is the laundry room. Oh, nice job. The laundry room. So when you say, I have to do my laundry, that means you have to clean your clothes. You put them in the washer and dryer. Hmm. That tastes so good, guys. I'm so sorry to be rude and to eat in front of you. But I had to smell it, and it smelled so delicious. Laundry room. So, Ishrak, you just won $400. Okay. Here we go. I don't think anyone can catch George. He has six, a thousand, 1,100 points for George. Ishrak has 1,000. Not bad. Habiba is in at 500. Anna is at 400. And Samira is at 400. <clears throat> For $400, sports. $400. A white ball, a black ball, and many colored balls on a green table are used in this bar favorite. A white ball, a black ball, and many Colored balls on a green table are used in this bar favorite. Now, this should not have a hyphen there for many colored. Shh. Sorry, someone came to my door. It should be multicolored balls or many with no hyphen. A white ball, a black ball, and many colored balls on a green table are used in this bar favorite. 
We have billiard, bowling, ping pong. So let's take a look. So the answer is pool or billiards, and they spelled it incorrectly. It's like this, billiards, B-I-L-L-A-R, billiards. So pool, thank you, thank you, Kristen. Pool or billiards. So we have hmm. So Anna said billiard. A pool table. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, Bhakti. Great. Have a wonderful class. Thanks for coming to the live lesson. So let's see. Oh, Mr. Paris, Paris, Mr. Paris, Parispa, Mr. Parispa, snooker is a form of billiards. Yes. So I think we're going to go with <coughs> no one, actually. Ishrak, you're right. No one got the exact answer. I answered too soon. I should have waited. So we will throw that one out because billiards has an S on the end. Anna was close, but not quite there. All right, let's move on to holiday for 400. Bunnies, baskets, and colorful eggs are traditional on this Sunday holiday. Bunnies baskets and colorful eggs are traditional on this Sunday holiday which is coming up very soon <clears throat> bunnies baskets and colorful eggs are traditional on this Sunday holiday <coughs> for $400. So Om is correct. Om, great job. You have the correct answer. The answer is Easter. So Om, $400. Yes, Ishrak, that is correct. Okay, let's take a look at our next one. We're almost there. Two questions left for $400. Body. Between your wrist and your shoulder, you can find this important joint. Between your wrist and your shoulder, you can find this important joint between your wrist and your shoulder you can find this important joint so here's my wrist and well actually here's my wrist and here's my shoulder hmm I see George's answer. Yes, George and Dwee, you are correct. Nice job, everyone. It is elbow between your wrist and your shoulder is a joint that's called the elbow. Well done. So we have George is running away with this game by answering that question. Our last question of the evening is the category of family. Family. Now, some people will pronounce this word as family. Family is how it is pronounced. Family. I have six people in my family here in my home. Your sister's son is your what? 
Your sister's son is your what? <clears throat> yes, Michelle, that is correct. I have three, four, five, six. I have seven of these. Crazy. Yes, George is rich. George, you can afford to go on another vacation. Yay! George, you are correct. Great job, Samira. Ishrak, yes. So, Ayala, niece is if it, it was your sister's daughter is your niece. Your sister's son is your nephew. Nephew. So, Dwee, your cousin would be your aunt's and uncle's child would be your cousin. Your aunt and uncle's child would be your cousin. Okay. Uh, Samira, uh, it's so interesting because on my screen, he is first. One of the downfalls of playing trivia online, right? It looks like you're first on your end. I've been there and I have lost money playing trivia online where I was supposed to be the winner and they said I wasn't first. It was really frustrating. All right, guys. Great job. Thank you so much for playing Jeopardy on Learn English Live with me. Before I close the live stream down, I will, and I'll show you my screen too. Go and I'll show you. I'll be happy to show you my live, my screenshots on my end. Look at the chat after this is over. I'll be happy to show you. I, I really am fair here. I promise. Um, but I also understand I'm competitive and I like to win. <laughs> um, does anyone have any questions before I close down this live stream? Any questions for me before we, before I go and eat my pizza? What do you guys think? Any questions? Thank you so much for those of you who came today to this live lesson. We worked on our vocabulary and also worked on a few other things. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if anyone else has any questions before I sign off. It was great seeing all of you. I hope that you are all safe and healthy. Yes, I'm going to enjoy my pizza. Um, I plan on doing that. All right, check out my videos. Um, yes, Samira, I can. I will post. It is Cool English. Cool English is the website. It has. A, they have great uh, resources there. And check out TikTok, Instagram, the newest video on the simple present and simple past of how to use have. Also check out my YouTube channel tomorrow for a new lesson on shadowing. Uh, my other live, yes, I will do my other live. Uh, do you mean on Hollow? No, Michelle, I started right at seven o'clock. But Michelle, the time changed that is probably what tripped things up. The time changed here in the United States. We sprung ahead an hour. I'm so sorry, Michelle. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. And if you're on Hollow, I'll maybe see you later. Thanks, Dwee. Goodbye, everyone. See ya. Have a great rest of your week.